Hey there, this is the Divine Miss Mickey. How are you all going today? Oh boy, was that fun last night. First time I've ever, ever, ever tried to do psychic feelings, intuitions, and I don't know if I could call it a reading, but it's just what came through. And it was, uh, I've got to actually watch it back because I have no idea what I said for most of it, so it could be fun. Um, Oh, I'm in a great mood. I just want to sing because I I, I watched um, just before I came on. I watched the Mamma Mia Here We Go Again movie. I love those movies because they're just fun, and it's the the songs of ABBA, which was from my teenage years. And yeah, you sing along, you know, like a super trooper. Oh, I so much fun so anyway now that I've got that out of the way I will try and shake it off and get serious no that's enough of serious yeah. life's too serious let's have fun now I had I sort of was thinking okay what am I going to talk about tonight am I going to do some cards and and I've got three new decks that I'm hanging to show you, but I didn't bring them over from my little cabinet, so that can be another video. And I thought, well, in light of a lot of things that go on um, it's with my life and with other people's lives, and some people use their intuition and some people don't, and then some people regret not using their intuition. I thought maybe just a little quickie on the power of intuition. And probably one of the best ways I can talk about that, I mean, I've had quite a few. Um, I nearly got attacked on my doorstep and my intuition was telling me that something was very wrong. Um, and my Irish temper because I'm quarter Irish uh, and that came up and he took off um, and you know the, it's, it's instinct that can come in but your intuition your gut feeling those messages that come in can save your life and I know this because um, many years ago I went to the doctor. I had a little lump just on the inside of my eye and I was getting all these weird sort of feelings and I thought, I'm oh, not quite sure about this. I better get the doctor to check on it. Uh, I hate going to doctors anyway. Um, but I thought, I'll go and get it checked out just in case. And so she got the thing and she's looking at it and she goes oh no that's nothing and i went oh okay and i went away and for the next two weeks my intuition my gut feeling spirit whatever it was nagging me find out about how you get to see the oncologist at a particular hospital in the city I was living in and it was nagging it was nagging so I made another appointment for the doctor after I would rung up to find out how to get in to see an oncologist and I said I want a referral letter to the oncology unit at this particular hospital and she said oh look you know they're not going to find anything. I said, I, I just want to do this. My gut feeling is really strong and I just feel that we've got to do it. I've got to do it. So, oh, okay, okay. So she did the referral and made the appointment at the hospital. And the first doctor came in, looked at it and said, that's coming out. I went, oh, oh, okay. Got another doctor in, looked at it, yep, that's coming out. Two weeks later, I was under the knife. Um, and they did a really good job because there's no scar. But it turned out to be what's called a basal cell carcinoma. 
Um, now normally, you know, they're, they're pretty common and, and from what I know is that on most parts of the body they tend to, they just localise. It is a skin cancer but it's, it's a localised one. It's not like a melanoma. But where I had it, what I have was told later by another doctor was because of where it was with, with my eye, it could have actually gone through to my brain. And I thought, wow, you know, if I hadn't listened to my intuition, what would have happened? Would it have been gotten to in time? Um, could it t have taken my life? You know, these are all things that go through your head. And I thought, you know, I am so glad I listened. I didn't go back to the doctor after that. I was still at the medical center. I saw her and she was lovely. She knew that, yeah, she'd lost my trust. I'm one of these people that when you lose my trust, you lose my trust. Simple as that. And I went on to another doctor who was, I was on first name basis with him. He was wonderful absolutely wonderful and because uh, I was having a lot of health challenges um, which are, I continue on to this day but I'm getting on top of a lot of well what I had then um, is now secondary <laughs> I got a few extra just to add to the problem but you know eh, tell me something's incurable I say watch me so anyway um, I'm digressing and I do that a lot a lot of squirrel moments so the thing is that intuition is here, it's your higher self, it's spirit, um, it's that energy feeling of something's not right, or something's really good, or I really, really, really gotta, gotta get this checked out like I did with the, the on my eye. Um, so listen to it. It's there for a reason. It's there to help you, whether it be to stop you doing something that's no good for you or to take action where you need to take action or to follow excitement because something really good is waiting on the other side. It's our best friend. And wouldn't you know it, there's a train going outside. I don't know if you're going to hear that or not. Oh, if, if um, I've tried to turn the fan away, it, it's still stinking hot here in Queensland, Australia. Yeah, we are in the height of summer, but there's been a lot of, uh, a few people talking about noise with the microphone. Uh, I've got, as you can see, a little lapel mic. Um, and you know, trying to have a bit of airflow on me and it was like, okay, maybe I just need to turn it. So if I suddenly start melting, you know, I'm melting, I'm melting. If I suddenly start doing that, it's because I'm, you know, gotten too hot. It's all your fault. Not really. So anyway, I did another quokka moment, didn't I? Yeah, okay. So, I'm just sort of thinking, you know, um, I might digress into another little subject here that I've got because I've got my little list at the side because otherwise I just forget what the hell I'm going to do. And my little headline here is there's so many different theories about spirituality. How do we know what's right? Well, this again is where your intuition kicks in. Just because a religion works for someone else does not mean it's right for you so someone may say oh listen you know this church is fantastic you've got to go to it you're gonna love it and you walk in there and you're just like Ooh, I'm getting creeps here it doesn't feel good listen to your intuition and other times you'll go somewhere you might go to a spiritual group uh, you might go to another sort of church. You might look into Buddhism or Baha'i or just a form of spirituality that sits well in your gut. It's like you look at it and it just it feels 
right, it feels at home, it feels good. That's your intuition telling you that that's what's right for you. That's your higher self. That's your soul. You could easily have been connected with that in a past life. Um, I know that in a, um, one of my past lives uh, that I was a nun in the Inquisition. And the person who was told me about this had no idea. In fact, no one had any idea of my feelings on religion. And because I'd been to a lot of churches um, for various reasons and I never felt comfortable. And then I found out about this life in, um, in the Inquisition. And the guy who told me about it, he said that I was walking around going, but this is not what God wanted. This is not what God wants. What he didn't know was I was saying that in this lifetime. Slightly different, you know, it was like, well, I don't think this is what it's how it's meant to be. I'm not feeling this is, you know, the way it was meant to have been taught and all that sort of stuff. So your intuition can be in tune with something that's come from a previous life. If you don't believe in past lives, well, just totally ignore everything I've said. Entirely up to you. Because, you know... You're allowed your own belief. But do as I say. No. My girls would have gone, oh God, there's mum. So, basically, if it feels right, like anything, intuition, um, meeting some, you know, really gorgeous guy at a party or over the melons in the supermarket or whatever, you know, if you get a good feeling, you get a good feeling. Maybe I should have chosen a different fruit for that one. Anyway, um, oh, that's just got me thinking, and that's a bad thing. So, um, now I can't get melons out of my head. <laughs> no, I gotta stop, I gotta behave. Maybe. I, I was so wound up yesterday, last night, and because I, I did that video so late, and I'm doing this one late too, and I had to be up early enough, and I didn't get much sleep at all, so it's sort of like, yeah. Oh, um, anyway, oh, how do you handle my waffling? I'm all over the place sometimes, but the main thing is that you get the idea, you get the gist of you know, using your intuition. Most of you will already be well aware of it, but there will be people who don't quite get what it's about. And it's just its just your higher self, your inner self, your, um, your spirit, like the spirits around you, just giving you the message as to whether something is good, bad, necessary, and I bet there's times where, and I think just about all of us have done this, if not all of us, where we've met someone and instantly we're like, ooh, ooh <laughs> this doesn't feel good. But our head takes over and goes, give him a chance. Come on, you've just met him. You know that inner dialogue where it's like, should do this no 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 do that and I've done that with people and, I, and I've, I've met them and sort of gone, oh, given them a chance and then found out that yeah the intuition was totally right um, then there was and I, I spoke I've spoken about this when I was talking about Melania in the last video about this lovely lady Jackie um, very very dear to my heart and, you know, this is where the intuition was, I met this lady and she was very standoffish, very aloof. It's like the barriers were up, 
my intuition was saying, get to know her. And I'm glad I did because she had a big impact on my life. I, she knows it now, she's in spirit. But I don't think she knew then what the impact that she had. So by giving you my my own personal stories, I can. It, that is the best way I feel that I can explain it. Um, you know, and I like to make things um, in a personal way so everyone can relate in in some way, and I hope that works. So, and actually, seeing as I've got her here, she's not often beside me. Come up here. Let me say hello. Oh, come on. Don't be silly. Don't be silly. Look. you got a leg under there. Look. Hey. I know you were comfortable lying beside me, but... you going to say hello to everyone? Look. Let everyone see how pretty you are. Hey. Well, Leo's not looking because Leo gets very jealous and possessive. So for those who haven't met her before, this is Skittles. She came with that name, and I thought about changing it. But when you, I got to know her personality, it's like, yeah, it's her all the way. Hey, my baby girl. Okay. She's going, that's enough, Mum. So anyway, that's a me for tonight. Uh, I'm going to do a, I might even do it tonight, because I've kind of like got all this energy going, because I had a bit of a nap when I got home today so uh, and I'm, I'm heck I might even do the the video with these new cards because I'm getting very excited about them uh, and and till next time I'll bid you adieu stay warm stay safe stay cool depending where you are be cool and be kind it's much easier it feels better being kind why be an asshole my mum not Am I allowed to say that? I don't know. Oh, you're going to get anything from me. I'll see you later. Bye.